What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. Today's video, we're gonna address Mark from my Facebook group. He says his sales just stopped. So here's the thing, usually your eBay sales don't just stop out of nowhere. It's usually a combination of five different problems, which we'll go over in this video. We're also gonna go over my five step reseller jumpstart. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys inside. So we're gonna go over the five-step reseller jumpstart program in just a moment. And before we get into that, the reseller jumpstart program is only a week, so it doesn't take a very long time to get your store back on track. But before we get into that, I'm gonna go over what Mark did wrong in his store. And it's always the same five things. So I asked Mark a series of questions to figure out what happened. The first thing I asked was, have you been consistently listing? And he said, no, he hasn't been consistently listing because over the last couple of weeks, his family has come in from out of town. He's had a couple of family emergencies, a couple of things happened in the household. So he hasn't been as consistent as he normally is. So here's the thing. If it's been a couple of weeks and you haven't been consistently listing, that means your sales didn't just suddenly fall off. It's because for the last couple of weeks, you haven't been consistent. So I asked him even more questions to try to figure out what else had happened. Over the last couple of weeks when you got busy, did you ship on time? Did you answer your, quest your customer service and offers immediately? What happened? And he said that he wasn't shipping his items immediately. A couple of them had gone late. He didn't address a couple of returns or cases quickly. And that, you know, he basically wasn't consistent in his store or his customer service or his shipping. Now it's really important to understand eBay really does pay attention to everything you do. They actually have metrics on how long it takes you to respond to someone, if you counter offer or not. Everything that you do, they are paying attention. So when your activity falls off, it's in their best interest to reduce your traffic. Let's say you're getting this much traffic every single day for listing the same amount of items, and all of a sudden you disappear. It makes sense to me that eBay would turn your traffic off and your store would experience a bit of a dip. Now, the best part is it only takes you about one week to fix this. So as long as you are consistent, this is actually part one of a two part series. We'll go over that a little bit more in the, in the, at the end of the video, but this first part is going over why sales are slow in your store. And the second part of this video will go over what you can do to fix it. So the reseller jumpstart program is only one week. It only takes one week to fix your sales. So the number one thing is going to be to list five items per day for the next seven days that are $10 profit or more. Um, second part, is, so step two is confirm all five of these items are popular brands listed at great prices. So this is really important. So you have to list five items that have $10 profit or more. So they can't be junk items. They have to be great brands at great prices. So Mark actually linked his store for us to review. And the first item that I looked at was not a quality listing for, a, for many, many reasons. Number one reason, it was a bad brand. So this brand I had never heard of in the women's clothing category. He was asking $14.99 for a pre-owned clothing brand that no one's ever heard of. So that pricing is really high. In my opinion, that pair of clothing wasn't even worth $1 with free shipping. That's how non-existent of a brand it was. So maybe if it was really on trend, certain keywords could sell it, but he's already off to a bad start because the brand is not popular. So the price is way too high. He had $15.10 for shipping, which is way too high for a clothing item that's first class and definitely would ship for about four to six dollars. He had the pricing at fifteen dollars and ten cents for shipping. So wrong price, wrong shipping cost. Title was inconsistent. So looking at his different items in his store, the title structure was all different, which slows you down. So his store had 710 items and he's I think probably full time or at least putting a full time amount of hours into it, but still only at 710 listings. And what happens is when you have all these different ways that you do your listings, it slows you way down because you have to think about how to do it. So the photos were all different. Titles were all different. Pricing was all different. Shipping was all different. I could keep going on, but that's where it really, really slows you down having so much going on. So you have to confirm the five listings going up each day actually meet the threshold of being $10 profit and actually things that people are searching for. So if you want, you can join the Patreon group at patreon.com slash the resource podcast, post your, your store in there. We have about 2000 people in our Patreon. We will look at your store review it, and give you tips and pointers, but it's always the same five reasons why your sales are slow. So make sure the items that you list are important. If you list five a day for seven days, that's 35 items, your store will be jump started. It will be completely back on track. eBay will forgive you. So number three 
is you want to answer your customer service questions immediately. Maybe download the eBay app or check your, your eBay seller hub maybe every couple of hours to get your store back on track. Answer questions immediately. Don't have any unanswered questions. That's really important because it shows eBay that you are active. You don't have to, in my opinion, you don't have to answer questions immediately always. Um, I just answer questions a few times a day, maybe three times a day. I go in and address everything. But it's better if you answer questions right away. That way you can nip any potential problems in the future. Remember, every single time a customer has an unanswered question, that timer is running against you. So the faster you can respond, offers, messages, cases, returns, the better. Number four, you want to ship items immediately. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do we increase our seller limits? When you start on eBay, you only get 10 items. You don't get the list of a lot of items. So what you need to do is prove to eBay that you know what you're doing. So when I started the Resar Nirvana account, they gave me a listing limit of 10 items and $1,000. So what I did was I looked for the fastest selling, most popular brands and items around my house. And that's just from looking at everything and looking everything up on my phone, figured out which items would sell the quickest. Those items sold faster than the other items in my house. It was only 10 items. Then I shipped all of those items immediately, did all the customer service immediately. So my shipping time was like one hour in the beginning because I really wanted to prove to eBay I knew what I was doing. So they increased it from 10 to 25 after just 10 days. You can always message customer service and say, look, you gave me 10. I already sold all 10. I need more listings. I did a good job. All 10 of these items have already been delivered. All of them left me positive feedback or no feedback. So all of them are received. I did the best that I could. Please give me more items. They will always reward you with more listings. I went from 10 listings to 25,000 listings in three months. That was me asking eBay every single time I sold my amounts. I asked for more. Shipping immediately is really important. And based on what I see in the listing quality report, people are taking four, five, six, seven, ten 10 days to ship an item. That's not very good. Not a very good customer experience. eBay may not want you around. They want people who ship immediately. Next. Last one, number five, is you want to address any defects, cases, or returns. Uh, most people know if you get a bunch of defects in a row, a bunch of negative feedback in a row, eBay will throttle your traffic. And it makes sense because they want to make sure what's going on. Can you fix your store before we give you more traffic? They also have this below standard setting if you have too many defects and too many problems. And that basically throttles your traffic all the way down to just a few sales maybe per month, right? Totally. It, it totally destroys your traffic when you fall below standard. But what eBay is trying to do, the purpose of that, is they want you to be really careful and do a good job on just a few sales. So a lot of people will try all these crazy things to get out of below standard, but really the best way to do below standard is just to do it properly and you'll slowly move out of that ranking. It'll take you one to three months to get out of best uh, below standard back into above standard. And in my group, we preach being top rated seller. That's important because top rated sellers get an even higher boost. So if you're below standard, all the other people are getting the, you know, they get to eat first because they're doing a better job. So if you're listening to this video, if you're just starting, doesn't matter if you, how big you are, five listings a day is achievable for most people, one to five, just do a really good job and you'll be fine. So if your sales are, so, are still slow, you, you're welcome to email me, but I prefer you join the mentorship and post your group there. So I call it being in the doghouse and eBay will be mad at you if you decide not to follow their rules. And so they will throttle your traffic. They will reduce your search visibility. We actually looked for a few listings where people were below standard and they were actually being filtered out. They were not in the search. So people, you type in Banana Republic jeans and they have a pair of Banana Republic jeans, not even in the, the listing, right? So that means eBay has decided to not give this person traffic because they don't meet the, meet the minimum threshold. So the good news is only takes about a week to fix this. No matter what size your store is, if you consistently list at least five items a day that people actually want, the traffic is going to turn right back on. I've never seen it take longer than a week for someone to fix their store. And usually your store doesn't just turn off either. It's from one week or two week or three weeks worth of not doing anything. That's what happens to your store. It's what happens to everybody when they get really busy. So what you need to do is for eBay to forgive you, you just need to show up for about a week. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't think you need to do it forever. Um, just start with one week. So once you have that one week under your belt, you can start organizing your life. In part two of this series, we're going to talk about um, how to be more consistent because you do need to do it for as long as you want to do eBay is as long as you need to be consistent. So from my experience doing this, most people never fall off for longer than two weeks. 
So family will come in, you'll get injured, you'll have a family member you need to deal with. Something will happen and it will throw you off track for two weeks. So what we need to do is build a draft bank, number one. So we'll go over and how to do that. But a draft bank means you have listings set aside. So if you're a five a day listing person, that's 35 listings per week. So you would need a draft bank of 70 listings to go consistently into your store if you're taking a break. Now, last part before we sign up for today is gonna be why do you need a draft bank? Why not just launch those listings immediately when you have them? Here's the thing. Your traffic is gonna stay stable, but if your listings stay stable because you get a certain number of views per item. eBay is very democratic like that. You can just start selling immediately and sell something. Other platforms are not like that. You have to have a track record of selling things before you get that visibility. On eBay, that's not true. On eBay, everybody does get some traffic for each item. It may be lower or higher depending on how long you've been on eBay or how good of a job you do, but you get guaranteed traffic when you list an item on eBay. So. You have this guaranteed traffic. If you list inconsistently, your guaranteed traffic starts to vary, and now you don't really have a good idea of how to judge your store. If you list a similar number of items each day, you start to get a baseline of what types of items do well, what doesn't do well, and you start to understand why I'm even listing every day. You hear that on Instagram, on YouTube, list every day, but people mostly don't know why. The reason is because you want a consistent amount of traffic going into your store. You wanna show eBay, because eBay is an algorithm, what they're trying to do is make money off of connecting you as the seller to a buyer. They charge a fee for that service. So all these people who are complaining about eBay, you're hiring eBay. They work for you. You don't work for eBay. They work for you. They connect a potential buyer with you and they charge you 13% for that. Um, one more thing before we finish the video. Sorry, there's so many different ideas I want to share with you guys is, oh, also smash the like button. I keep seeing these videos where people are talking about eBay fees not being transparent. That's not true. eBay has all of the eBay fees lined up for you. So I have the 100 listing challenge for everyone, which goes over all the fees. I am never surprised by the eBay fees. You should not be surprised by the eBay fees. They're transparent. They let you know how much the fees are. It lets you know promoted listings, what they are. They let you know what the store fee is. If you are listing on eBay, you should already know before you start what the fees are. Okay, it shouldn't be a surprise. If you sold on eBay for longer than one week, you should know what the fees are, especially if you watch this channel. You'll be able to go in. As soon as you sell your first item, actually, there's a transaction history in the payments tab that will go over what every single fee means. It's not a mystery. Never was a mystery, never will be a mystery. It's illegal to charge people without letting them know what the fees are. People are just saying that because they don't like what the fees are. And that's a totally different story. Do I think the eBay fees are fair? I think it's fine because they connect me with the buyer. Otherwise, I have to make my own website, do my own marketing, find my own customer. That's a lot more expensive than 13% for a pair of Ann Taylor jeans. So I appreciate you guys. Please smash the like button. We'll see you on part two of this series next week. Take care.